I just wanna make a quick disclaimer. Obviously, in most tutorial videos, there's always people that it doesn't work for, and this tutorial is just simply based off of people that have NVIDIA, have recently updated, and are having Minecraft-related crashes, either with 5zig or just Minecraft in general, so keep that in mind when you watch the rest of this video. Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome to another video today. This one's gonna be a little bit different. This is not gonna be a Minecraft video. Well, it's gonna be kind of Minecraft related for those of you who are struggling with the same problem I was struggling with. However, you guys did in fact help me solve my problem. Um, so thank you so much for all of the comments on the previous video. Um, you know, all of you explained to me kind of what had happened and what I should do. So I wanted to spread the word uh, for those who don't know what to do and have the same problem that I was having where Minecraft is crashing all the time, basically. Chances are very good that if you just updated NVIDIA uh, drivers on your computer, it's causing these crashes. So not only is your Minecraft crashing, but with mods, it just can't do it at all. And it just crashes pretty much immediately, at least for me. It might crash at different points for you. But uh, I just wanted to kind of explain to you how to fix this problem. There is ways where you can adjust certain settings in 5zig or whatnot. This is mainly for if you're using 5zig because that's the main issue for me. But uh, I want to show you a couple ways anyways that you can fix this problem and probably the easiest overall way that will that I will be using. Um, so hopefully I'll try to keep this nice and clear and condensed. So as I said, it was the driver, the recent driver update that really screwed everything over. Even Minecraft has tweeted out themselves saying that they're aware of the issue. Um, so, you know, if you haven't updated, I wouldn't update, but if you have updated, this is kind of the route that I'm gonna take to fix this problem. And it really is as easy as downgrading your NVIDIA driver. So obviously, as you can see here, driver version 37.8.49 is the problem driver that has caused all these problems. So you just, you just want to uninstall that and reinstall the previous or roll back the, to the previous version. Now there is a couple ways to do that. The main way that I'm gonna do that is you just go to the GeForce site or the NVIDIA site and manual driver search here. Uh, select all your things so that the series of drive, uh, series of card that you have, uh, the actual model. I have a 660 which is shitty and I hope to upgrade that soon. But um, then you just start the search and it comes up with the drivers down below here. Um, and here's the problem one this is the one that you want to go back to. So you just download that and install it basically. Now I did just want to show you that it, it in fact my Minecraft is crashing. You can see there that I'm running Forge, which means I have mods on Minecraft such as 5zig. Um, I just want to show you the startup and where it usually crashes for me and probably where it's crashing for you. If not here, then at other points, uh, basically it just can't, it just can't do it. It just can't run. So right there, boom, you can see it crashes there every single time. Um, so this is the crash that you, most of you are probably getting um, in relation to 5zig. So, well, mainly 5zig, but just the driver in general. Now, if you don't want to actually download this driver, as you can see on screen, I'm about to install it. If you don't actually want to download the driver, there is another way. It didn't work for me because, I don't know, it just didn't allow me to roll back. But if you go through your control panel, this is Windows 7. I have no idea how it is on Windows 10 or 8. Um, but if you just go through, if you go there, device manager, you bring this up, you go to your display adapters here, you click on that, you go to drivers, there's this rollback driver feature, let me make sure you can see that you can, there's this rollback driver feature, it's not available for me, um, so I can't just roll it back, and I think that would just basically do what I'm about to do for you without having to download the driver, it would just roll it back to the previous version. Um, obviously there's these other ones and the uninstall driver and what you would do is you'd uninstall uh, the current driver that you have and then re reinstall this new driver so I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, actually install the driver that I want to have just hit next on that bad boy and it's obviously gonna take a while for it to install um, and it should it should just if you go this route it should just remove your, as you can see right there, perfect. It's re It removes all of your previous drivers and then reinstalls the one that you've opened. So you don't have to worry about necessarily first uninstalling and then reinstalling. It will do that all in the, in the driver download from the site. So you don't have to worry about that. All right, we're back from a restart after the drivers installed. Obviously, I don't know, NVIDIA always screws up my desktop, so I just do a quick restart of the computer. Uh, after that, I don't know if you guys necessarily need to do that, but it's it's just something that I always do. So we're back from the restart, and now it's kind of the moment of truth to see if this works. 
Um, so we're gonna open up Minecraft and hopefully we won't get a crash or a Java like crash right where we usually get it where it's initializing all the mods so we're just gonna open up Minecraft really quick and hopefully I mean it should work there's like 0% chance that this won't work because it was the NVIDIA drivers that was causing this issue so if we don't have those drivers there should be no reason why this doesn't work but I did want to just show you quickly that I do I didn't like take out any mods or anything um, the mods that I have right here they're still in there as you can see Fivezig is still in there actually that's the old version of Fivezig let me throw in that version take out the other version so this is the new version so this should still work um, because we're not on the current NVIDIA drivers which was causing that version of Fivezig to freak out well just Fivezig in general um, so we have those four mods there and we'll just close this up and launch Minecraft and hopefully this works crossing our fingers that it does all right it's initializing like normal this is usually where it crashes right about now you, it went full screen that means the game is active and booting up as you can see there's our full screen um, if we just log into Hypixel here everything should be fine I mean we already got this far so there shouldn't be any errors it should be telling you that there's no errors um, so as you can see we are now playing Hypixel and I haven't been able to do this for like four days with Fizeg or some, what, however, whenever I update the drivers, I don't remember when that was, but um, just another test that I want to do here is uh, when I did have, even without um, Fivezig, even without Fivezig active, whenever I were to, not that, whenever I was to um, click on a link and untab from the game, it would crash, so we'll just try that really quick and make sure that we're good. It, you can't see it, but it brought up the vote page. Minecraft is still open. I'll tab back into it, as you can see. Um, boom. Uh, so, essentially, I think that is the go-to fix. Obviously, I was messing around with Fivezig, so I'm going to have to reconfigure all of the Fivezig options and whatnot. But I think that this is the safest option for you guys. If you're having this issue, just do what I did in the video and downgrade back a version of NVIDIA. Uh, of the NVIDIA driver because that was the issue. Obviously, you could just play without 5zig until NVIDIA comes out with another driver to hopefully fix this issue. Um, but I would just avoid, if you haven't downloaded, like I said in the beginning, if you haven't downloaded the current driver, I would suggest to not do that yet. Obviously, if you play other games, maybe it's fine, but you know, Minecraft usually will get just completely destroyed here. Um, at least it did for me. So I would avoid that if you have already done it, follow these steps, and I think it should help you. Obviously, everyone, there's always people that it doesn't work for, but I would say that this is going to work for 99% of you um, that have NVIDIA. It's very important that <laughs> this the step-by-step -step is for NVIDIA drivers. Um, so uh, just keep that in mind, and hopefully you don't skip a step in there. Hopefully you guys did find this at least a little bit helpful. Um, I, you know, it, thank you guys again for actually telling me kind of what I have to do, and then I just kind of put the pieces together from there and made this video uh, showing other people that are still unaware of the situation. So thanks for watching the video, guys. It is a bit of a different video, um, but like I said in the beginning, I would feel too bad having this information and knowing that so many people like either tweeted me or left comments saying that the same thing's happening and they don't know how to fix it and I had the fix, I would feel way too bad not to share that information and kind of show you how to fix it. So I wanted to make this video today instead, and hopefully you guys are okay with that. Um, but a like would be very much appreciated, and subscribe if you're brand new. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.